Before starting the heist, I just want to make sure I haven't missed anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and go up the coastline. Alright, let's get mounted up. And get going. Oh, hold on a second here. Well, there's something right ahead. But... Is it just me, or... Does this bridge look like something that would be hiding a secret? Like a locked chest or something, or what? Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, there it is. I was expecting the chest, I was not expecting whatever that is. Wow. Okay. It's... Hopefully I'm not, uh... Biting off more than I can chew here. No, we were just fine. Okay, let's try that chest. Come on. I keep anticipating that's gonna... The pin's gonna start shaking before it does. Come on. Ah, just made it. Hey there. Leave me to my drink, stranger. If I can't remember what matters, might as well forget it all. What do you mean? I woke up on the shore. No idea how I got here. Barely remember my name. And this damned monkey won't leave me alone. Must be mine. It just keeps hooting at me and won't go away. Ugh, I need more. Uh-huh. Well, I think the way that he'd like me to help is by getting him more ale. I mean, he just said I need more ale, but, uh, how can I help? Just go. Wait, wait. Buy this monkey from me. Monkeys are great companions. I bet this one can find buried treasure. On an island like this, you'd recoup the cost tenfold. I just need some coins for ale. We both win, eh? Um... I don't think I really want the monkey, but, uh... I'll consider he it, I guess. He may be annoying, but I bet he's got a nose for treasure. Oh, I suppose. Okay, I might be interested. Great. For the right price, he's yours. How do I know he'll find anything? Fine, fine. I'll loan you the monkey. Take him around the beach, see what he finds. Just get the little creature away from me. Ah, uh, okay, that works. <laughs> Hello, monkey. What are you trying to tell me? I get it. Lead on. Sand covered blade. Okay.
I'm supposed to be following you, you know. <laughs> there we go. Okay, talk to Shazim. Apparently he's up there, even though I thought he was back there a moment ago. You again? What's it this time? The monkey led me to these. I believe they're yours. Yes, my family brewed this rum. And my father's ring, it's coming back to me. My old blade, and my lucky dice. Now I remember. I'd even forgotten my dear companion, Kawi. Do you remember what happened to you? Still fuzzy on that. I was bound for Daggerfall when pirates hit us. I think I was thrown overboard in the battle. At least you have your belongings. You're a godsend. Things are still a little hazy. But I think that's the ale. Take this gold for your efforts. Okay. Let's keep going north. up ahead. Come on. Not sure what was going on there. Oh, that wasn't it. I'll take the shield. And, uh, let's see here. One attribute point, one skill point. And I'll do the skill points later. See if that shield's any good. Actually, let me get off uh, get off my mount here. The same button being for the map and the mount is really causing me problems, unfortunately. Okay. Oh. What? Why is it so small? Probably can't. No, I can't convert it to... Hmm. Well, I'll just hold on to it. Alright, what is this now? Okay, maybe it's actually down here. Oh, yes, here we go. Uh... 
if I find Tarina, she may have a reward. I'm not really concerned with that. I'll return the bracelet anyway. There's a way to refuse the reward, I will, but there probably won't be. Okay. Come on. That quest marker's getting bigger slowly. Where are ya? talking about before. All right. Keep moving. I'm in no mood to chat. I found this note and bracelet. Were they your brothers? They knew that Goblin Spawn would put a dagger in our backs. Siraj never could pass up a pretty face. This bracelet was given to my ancestors by King Sahel. Siraj always wore it. Take this and thanks. Boopt could guide you. And, of course, no way to refuse the reward. Well, let's turn this in as well. Oh. Apparently you're in the... Okay, there you are. Yes, do you have something for me? I found something you might be interested in. Just what my sphere needs. Uh, just give me a minute, then throw that switch over there. Okay. Ah, oh, good. I believe this will work. Is that long enough? One never knows what's going to happen when working on Dwemer devices. I don't seem able to throw the switch still. Now throw the lever. Ah, okay. And we'll see what happens. Uh, do we have a problem? Oh, research never goes as one expects. Was that good? Well, I was expecting it to run around uh, attacking townsfolk and to have to put it down, so I guess it wasn't horrible. I'm amazed it worked at all. But thanks to you, I've made remarkable strides today. Narama will be thrilled. Uh, please take this for your good work. say that my research does not often produce such spectacular results. Most gratifying. Yes, yes. Okay, let's uh just follow the road. Uh 
Okay, apparently this is just a point of interest. Uh, there seems to be quite a bit of, uh, quite a large area on this shore, so I'll probably save that till later. So, I believe the last thing I wanted to check on was the, uh, the lighthouse. I'll meet you there. Okay, I need to go around the Eternal Sentinel's Gate that's visible from the Saintsport Lighthouse until I reach a shrine, and then go northwest to find the Warrior Landmark. Uh-huh. Well, let's see if we can see anything. Oh, wait, hint. Northwest of the shrine past the Eternal Sentinel's Gate. Well, where's the Eternal Sentinel's Gate? Oh, okay, I guess that's the sentinel right there, the statue, so it says northwest. Yeah, that's this direction, so that must be the shrine it's referring to then. Okay. Have to make our way back up there then. Ah, uh, come on. Come on. I don't understand why. There we go. Okay, I was gonna say, did I go past it somehow? Wait, is that the... No, it's a bit more north, okay. There we go, that's the right icon. So it said it's northwest of here. Must be that. This is the warrior. 45 paces. Let me get off my horse here. Uh, let's see. Okay, nothing much up here. 45 paces south. I doubt it's going to actually be accurate to what a pace is. That would be two steps ending on the same foot you started on. That's a pace. Find the island of Iron Faces, so... An island, so it has to be one of those. Actually... Yeah, there's a couple. Has to be one of these, then. Leftward palms frame the sight. Leftward... these? Grab this while we're here. A 
Maybe it's not this one. Okay, let's try the next one. Leftward? Ah, okay. Find the stone ship. Uh, this is slightly annoying. Follow the rocky finger through the broken ship. Well, what are they calling a rocky finger? Is it this? It's kind of pointed that direction. There is something down there that kind of looks like a ship. That must be it. Looks as though it might be something. Dig beneath the... Oh. Was it? Dig beneath the leaves in the ship's port. Well, let's grab this. Ugh. <sighs> All right, then. Really just looking to complete this quest. This is not the treasure, okay.
Oh, I guess there was, uh... More than one place you could pick that up from. That's interesting. Alright, gotta get back to town and unload, clearly. Okay, I guess that's everything. Let's go ahead and get it started. You're back. Found anyone else to help us with the heist? Uh, we're moving along. I thought we were done. Ha. I knew you'd get it done. Oh, Who all right the then. Food, those traitors. When we've got you helping us. With you helping Captain Colleen, we'll get the goods and be on the sea in no time. Okay. We've got a crew to rival the legends. Time to make some money. Don't you agree? I agree. What now? Now we're ready for the real challenge. The heist. The target's Bosek. That slimy bastard's finally going to get what's coming to him. We're going to steal his sailing logs. His sailing logs, really? His sailing logs are the key to our fortune, friend. They're the records of every ship that's docked here, every stolen cargo they've unloaded, and every illicit payment made to Bosek. How does that make us rich? Those records are worth a fortune to King Baharajad. They're written proof that Bosek has violated the King's order to stop raiding Breton shipping. With those papers in hand, the King can threaten to destroy Bosek if he doesn't stop. The King's agreed to pay you for them? Absolutely. His envoy is on the dock now, waiting. As soon as we turn over the sailing logs, he gives us a fortune in gold. The trick will be getting into Bosek's palace, stealing the logs, and getting out with them. That's your job. Uh-huh, that's my job. When we started, didn't she say I would get a cut just for the recruiting? I don't think she mentioned me being a part of it. Oh well, how do I do it? First, you need a servant's disguise to get into the palace. The papers are in a lockbox on the top floor. Bosek has the only key. Slip this powder into his drink, then grab the key. And then? The lockbox is always guarded. The guard's not bright, but he'll raise the alarm if anyone tries to open the box. Deal with him quietly. No stabbing. Lambor and I will have the ship ready to sail when you return with the papers. I'll be back soon. We'll just lure ships onto the rocks and strip the wreck. All true, my lord. But at least he would earn coin. Mm, quite the motley crew, aren't we? What do you think of Captain Colleen's plan? She's right. You need a disguise to get anywhere near Bosek. Fortunately, you have me. Just say the word and I can have servant clothes waiting for you at the palace. Thanks, Larissa. I'd love your help. My pleasure. Meet me outside the palace. I'll pick out something special for you. It's a wonderful day for a sailing trip, isn't it, friend? Especially if it gets me off this rock before Bosek chops off my head. Uh-huh. Can you help me get into the lockbox? Bosek keeps the key around his neck. Cinched steel. I'll get the key off Bosek. Meet me out back. Okay. Get your disguise and meet me out back. Leave Bosek to me. Oh. Yes. Hello. This is fascinating. Did you know the Dwemer had devices to rapidly mince fruit? Uh, could you help me get the lockbox? I can offer help with the guard, perhaps. You wish to deal with him quietly, correct? What's your idea? I removed this device from Clanker. When pressed, it produces quite the incapacitating shock. 
If you would test it for me, preferably on a living subject, I would be grateful. I'll take it. Let me know if there are any lingering effects. Twitching, mainly. I'm quite curious about the twitching. Okay, there you are. Well, look who's come to pay a visit. Did you find a disguise for me? Oh yes, try these on. I'm sure they'll fit you just right. In the meantime, I'll just continue my sweep at the palace. Uh, <laughs> uh, very funny, because you're sweeping. Okay, oh, I gotta, I gotta put it on. Check something here. Do I have to... Let's see. Do I have to equip that? Uh, that weapon, whatever you want to call it, or will it just do it automatically? Hopefully it will. Gone, servant. Do your work and stop bothering me. Yeah, yeah. Once his bones, what is it now? Have you seen Hedman Bozik? Shouted at you too, did he? He just went out back to carouse with the latest slatterns from the mainland. Best hurry up and refill his drink. You don't want him running out of drink. Holy servant, you're just in time. What happened to Bosek? My dear friend Headman Bosek is sleeping off the attentions of these two lovely ladies. They are quite a handful, and an eyeful too. Why don't you take the good Headman's key inside for safekeeping? I'll do that. I guess getting all three of them was the easiest way to do the heist. That's fine by me. Okay, where's the lockbox? Upstairs, I would assume. This town's history is fascinating. Did you know that many of the dwarven relics still function? Yeah, it says use drummer device. <laughs> All right, then. Okay, I guess that's it, and uh, 
Apparently, neither of you had any problem with that. Okay. Just walk out of there nice and casual. Okay, can I take this disguise off now? Much better. My friend, welcome back. Do you have some good news? Here's the shipping logs, Captain. Oh. Okay, I was gonna say what Here happened. Here you are, Tharwab. The shipping logs that show Bosek's defiance of the King's decrees. Come on, it's time to go. On your feet, man your stations. Prepare to sail. Finally, home to Betnik. I've missed my clan. Before we leave for Betnik, talk to the crew. Get familiar with them. It'll be a long trip. Okay. If there's one thing Master Kassan taught me, it's that knowing your ship and crew keeps you alive. Seems like you'd make a fine captain someday, but you'll have to find your own ship. Of course. Stros is a depressing place. Too many Red Guards waving their damn swords around. At least on the spearhead, no one wants to kill me except Irian. She'll come around. She's crazy about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Now I've been ordered to follow Naramo on another fool's errand. Or at least the drinks are free. When active, Duema spiders have an extraordinary capacity for learning. Now I have to stop Andrillium from teaching Clanker to bring him drinks. The Spearhead's no maiden's breath, but at least she doesn't have a giant hole in her side. I'd be happy if we never saw land again. Captain Colleen took her time getting off this damned island. Doesn't surprise me. Orc problems aren't her problems. But we'd be stuck here if not for your help. I won't forget that. What do you want? You're sailing with us? Of course. I'll pull my weight, unlike Jakan. He's not getting near another woman until I'm too old to stop him. And we Altburn live a very long time. Uh-huh. Well, now his comment from before actually makes sense. Yeah, good luck with that, Jakarn. Let's see. Uh, was that everyone? To be on the seas once again. This is paradise. Hedman Bosek is a cruel master. 
If Kaleen will have me, I will join the Spearhead's crew. <laughs> Wherever Captain Larissa goes, I go. Even on this tub. Can't wait until we get our own ship again. Blades Edge. We're setting sail with the famous Jakarn. Alethian and I have a bet on who's gonna bet him first. <laughs> okay. I can't wait to see Jakarn's battle scars. I'm sure he's got them everywhere. And I'm sure he doesn't actually have any. This should be an interesting voyage. Quite a crew Colleen has thrown together. Who are you? Vive me la croix. I'm a collector of sorts. One who travels to places others dare not go. I hoped to join Naramo's expedition to Bizarre. When I heard he had completed it and was sailing on, I just had to come along. What do you do exactly? You're inquisitive. What I do, I do well. You'll be glad to have me on this voyage if we encounter slavers. And I make a wicked sliced ale. The Spearhead's a good ship, but she's no maiden's breath. At least she'll get us away from Stros Mackay. Looking forward to getting to know Lambour better. I like an orc with a quick blade and a quicker tongue. Again, sailors flock to the Spearhead. For this, Kassan is thankful. Who are you? Master Kazan is but a humble sailor, though others will tell you stories. Some whisper the name Kazan Fiveclaw, Terror of the Seas. Yet, yeah, these are stories for children. We have better things to do with our time, yes? What can you tell me about the captain? Some call her the Dune Ripper daughter, others the Forebear Witch. We, her loyal crew, call her Captain Kalin. She is a master sailor, though Kassan now wonders where her allegiance lies. What do you mean? There is a forebear king in Sentinel now, Faharajad. He has allied himself with the Bretons and orcs in this Daggerfall Covenant. Kassan fears his apprentice thinks much of Faharajad. Too much. A true sea rover has no such loyalties. Captain Kaleen is your apprentice? Kassan told Kaleen much. Though she is her own woman, strong and proud, Kassan is grateful to help her find her way. She is a worthy successor. All that was once Kassan's is now hers. Hold on. I knew Captain Colleen would get another crew together. When she wants something, she gets it. What can you tell me about this ship? The Spearhead's the fastest galleon on the seas. Master Kassan gave her to Captain Colleen when he retired. He taught her all she knows about the sea. Once the captain gets a new crew, we'll be off again. What do you think of Captain Colleen? She's amazing. She's smart, tough, and a real fighter. She's incredible with a sword, even for a Red Guard who grow up using them. I've never met anyone like her. How did you meet her? Well, it's kind of embarrassing, but funny. I was living on the Wayrest docks, picking a few pockets here and there to get by. Then Colleen came walking by, with a huge bag of gold swinging from her belt. And you tried to steal it? I did steal it. She didn't even notice it was gone until I was halfway down the street. <laughs> but boy, did she get after me. She can run. When she caught me, I thought I was dead, but she offered me a job. She was impressed. So you joined her crew? She said it was a good lift. Taking her purse, I mean. 
and offered me an apprenticeship. Sailing the seas, drinking and fighting, finding treasure. I love it. Captain Colleen's an incredible mentor. And we will embark in the next episode. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you back for more of The Elder Scrolls Online.